Welcome to Any Way You Slice It, where we talk about your identity and purpose in the kingdom of God. Come join author Ricardo Richardson as we slice our way to the core of God's Word to experience the beautiful and transformational discovery of who we are and why we exist, no matter how we slice it. Today's message is Visualize to Realize. Beloved family, our text says, The next day, as they were leaving Bethany, Jesus was hungry. Seeing in the distance a fig tree in leaf, he went to find out if it had any fruit. When he reached it, he found nothing but leaves, because it was not the season for figs. Then he said to the tree, May no one ever eat fruit from you again. Mark 11, 12-14 there is a phenomenon that some of us have experienced in life called a mirage, an optical illusion caused by atmospheric conditions like the appearance of a sheet of water in a desert or on a hot road caused by a refraction of light from the sky by heated air. Have you seen a TV scene where someone is in a hot desert and wandering in search of water? They see what appears to be an oasis in the middle of the desert, rushing there because of their thirst, only to find it was a mirage. It appeared to be real, but was not. Now picture our text verse this morning. King Jesus is hungry and sees a fig tree in the distance. His mind was on food, so his hunger desire took him to see if there was any food there, after he noticed the tree had leaves on it. Finding none, he cursed the fig tree, essentially saying what he could see or visualize in his mind, that no one would ever eat figs off the tree again. Now, how can he know that? Because he could visualize, and by declaring what he visualized, it would be realized. Family, this is a very powerful and critically important aspect of our faith in the kingdom of God. We cannot have anything or realize anything in the kingdom of God if we cannot declare it. And in order to declare it, we must be able to see it. Where there is no vision, the people perish. Proverbs 29, 18. Seeing in the natural is simply to see, but seeing in the spirit or supernatural is to have vision or visualization. Everything that exists today was first an idea. It was in the mind of the Creator. They visualized it before they can realize it. The idea to create a mobile device like the iPhone that is used as a camera, television, telephone, typewriter, navigation, stereo, alarm clock, and so many other uses came from those we call visionaries. They see or visualize what they want to happen or what product impact will happen in the future. Christ had vision. He could easily say to the fig tree, from now on, everyone that comes here will have fruit in abundance. For you will produce figs in and out of season. And this would have been the case. But he chose to curse it so that others will see that when we don't produce fruit as God desires us and purpose us to, we dry up at the root. But one may say it was not the season for fruit, so the fig tree wasn't supposed to bear figs. Well, the text says it was, quote, in leaf, unquote, meaning that it was an early budding tree. We know that some trees bear fruit in season and some trees bear fruit pre-season. This tree showed all the signs of bearing fruit in the pre-season because the appearance of the leaves. The lesson here as to why Jesus cursed the tree is that no fruit in our lives brings judgment. And for many of us, it's the appearance of the fruit in our lives. We look like we bear fruit, but it's only leaves. And acting like there is fruit when there is none brings dissatisfaction from our Lord as his expectation is that we should be bearing fruit. And only upon taking a closer look at our lives that it is discovered we are barren or fruitless. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked or stand in the way that sinners take or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord and who meditates on his law day and night. 
That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. Psalms 1, 1 to 3. When we delight ourselves in the law of the Lord and meditate on his word always, we will not walk with wicked men, but we will be planted and we will bear fruit. We will have the faith in King Jesus to declare those things that are not as though they were, to curse and condemn the bad and evil in our lives and to bless the good in it. So first see it, visualize it, declare it, and I promise you that you will receive it if you believe it according to the will of the King who decreed it. Much love.